2054, the jobs we knew have disappeared. We dedicate 1% of our life to work. Today, it has different names that at the dawn of the century, we did not even imagine. Man has gone through many eras. That of hunter-gatherers lasted a few million years. That of agriculture, a few thousand. The industrial era, 200 years. That of information, a few dozen. Now, a new one has begun. The infinite productivity era. In the last 300 years, work has been continuously compressed. Up to 1800, there was the concept that if you are alive, you work. At the end of the 19th century, child labor was limited. In England and Wales, for example, with compulsory education up to 10 years. On the other hand, a maximum working age limit is set. In 1881, Otto von Bismarck invents retirement for German citizens over 65 years. It was cheap. The average life in Germany was 39 years. Decades after the working week is compressed, in 1926, Henry Ford adopted five days a week for 400,000 workers. In 1948, Olivetti in Italy also reduced it by removing the Saturday and introducing maternity paid for nine months. Work time keeps squeezing. In 1936, the compulsory school in France comes to 14 years. In 1959, to 16. In 2018, some countries like Mexico, Argentina, part of the United States and others reach 18 years. During the 19th century, a principle is unconsciously applied by the states. Whenever productivity increases tenfold, working time is limited by a quarter through compulsory schooling, retirement, holidays and other tools identified by governments.